In a previous video, I described what broadcast receivers are and how they're very functional for our application because they allow our application to respond to environmental stimuli. In this video, we're going to put together a very simple broadcast receiver. So to start, I go to the package for my application. I'm going to right click and choose Kotlin Filer class, and we'll call this one a notification receiver, and we'll make it a class. Now, a broadcast receiver is just a normal class that happens to extend from broadcast receiver. So we'll extend from broadcast receiver like so and give it the open and close parens to indicate a constructor call. Now, we have a red line here. It says implement members because it says, okay, you're extending from broadcast receiver, which is an abstract class. It has an abstract method. You have to implement that abstract method or abstract function if you prefer. So we go ahead and choose OK and we get on receive. Whole bunch of Javadoc here, but essentially on receive is what gets called when something happens. The something that happens that we want to listen for in our case is power on or off, and we can actually get that through the intent. You notice that the intent is passed through as an argument here. So let's say intent dot action, and we'll simply save that into action. Now we can say when action, remember a when is like a switch case statement. You could do the same thing with an if test. Uh, when statement is just a little quick way to do it in Kotlin. So when action, and then we'll say intent dot action power connected. We do like so. And then intent dot action power disconnected. So you see we're setting up a when statement or essentially a switch case to say, if we're getting called because the power was connected, then we're gonna do this. If we're getting called because the power was disconnected, then we're going to do this. So the, then we're going to do this, we could do a toast or something of that nature or notification is what we're eventually going to do. Let's make a new function, notify user. And I'll just snap a breakpoint here. We'll embellish this a bit in a moment. Var i equals one plus one. That's enough where I can snap a breakpoint there and I can also snap a breakpoint up here. Now we have to register our receiver and tell it which events we're interested in listening to. We used to register our receiver in Android Manifest, and we could just give it an intent filter and say, listen to any of these events. That's less common now. Now we tend to register our receiver with an activity to say that it's alive when this activity is alive. So let's go to main activity, and we'll go to the on create function, one of the early functions like we have, like so. And now we can register our receiver. We simply say val notification receiver equals notification receiver. Construct it like we would anything else. Now let's say uh, val filter equals intent filter. If you remember, we called things like the camera and the image gallery with by saying that we wanted to take a picture or we wanted to open images from the image gallery. The way that worked is we were firing off intents and the camera had an intent filter that was listening for these intents. Or the image gallery had an intent filter that was listening for these intents. So what we're doing now is we're making an intent filter for our notification receiver to say that the notification receiver is interested in the following events. And what events are those? Filter dot add action and let's say intent dot action power connected. And below that filter dot add action and then we say intent dot action power disconnected. There's a whole list of these intents. I, I spelled them out on the previous video, the intro to this. So I recommend going back there if you want to see some of the other uh, intents that you can use here. Common ones are Bluetooth, also Wi-Fi, although there's a different way to do Wi-Fi now. But these are things where your phone might have something that's changed and your application wants to respond to that change. Plugging in headphones, that's another common one. So you know, a lot of times you unplug headphones and audio automatically stops. That's a really good use case for one of these broadcast receivers. Finally, we need to register the broadcast receiver. So we say this dot register receiver, and then we pass in the notification receiver that we just created and the intent filter that we're associating with that notification receiver. Now I have the emulator up, let's watch what happens. I go over to battery and I can change this from AC charger to none. 
Notice when I do that, the breakpoint hits, and I choose F8, and what's our act, what does our action say? It says action power disconnected. So you notice when I change it to none, we have power disconnected and essentially nothing happens. Let's go back one more time and let's change it now from none to AC charger. Once again, our broadcast receiver fires and you see now we have action power connected. Let me mouse over, you can see that in a bit higher def. There we go, action power connected. So now we can do things that might require a bit of more power, things like maybe uploading a lot of data. This one works well when you combine it with looking at network status as well. Are we on Wi-Fi with power connected? If that's the case, then you might want to do things like upload images or any big files like that. As a matter of fact, I went ahead and paused the video and pasted in a bit of logic that I often use to determine what network connection we have, whether it's Wi-Fi, cellular, Ethernet, or Bluetooth. I won't go through all of that because this video is just about broadcast receiver, but I will commit and push this to GitHub. So if you're interested, you can take a look at this and implement it yourself. So I hope this video has been helpful, and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.